Hello and welcome to Front Runner Motorsport. Along with Formula 1, there are a few other race series starting this weekend. One of those is Indy NXT, the next evolution of Indy Lights, that totally hasn't copied the WWE's homework. This rebranding does seem to have interested a higher caliber of driver to the series, so let's take a look at the teams and drivers competing in this year's Indy NXT Championship. We'll try and pick a winner, but I think it'll be near impossible. You'll have to wait for the end of the video to get my predictions though, so you might as well subscribe. Let's begin. Abel Motorsport. Jacob Abel returns from his trip to New Zealand, where he performed admirably in the Formula Regional Oceana Championship, on his way to third overall in the standings. Now he is back in America with the family team, but he has never been Jacob Abel to match his New Zealand performances on home soil. He finished 8th overall in this series last year, and 6th in the Indy Pro 2000 Championship in 2021. Those are his best performances. We will have to see if he is Jacob Abel to do it better in 2023. He is joined by Colin Kaminsky, a 23-year-old who has never won a race, but has a few podiums in the Junior American Series. I'm not expecting much from him. Abel has some momentum behind him, so maybe he'll do okay. A race winner, maybe. Andretti Autosport. The big dog in the small pond is Andretti, and they're bringing some great young drivers to the dance. That's a very mixed metaphor, but Lewis Foster is a great talent. Last year's Indy Pro Champ has won races in every single seater series he's raced in. He's finished third overall in British F4 and F3, and finished runner-up in Euro Formula. And he has started 2023 with a win in the Formula Regional Oceania Championship. He's a driver making a name for himself, as is three-time W Series champion Jamie Chadwick. For the last few years, I have been saying she needed to move away from the W Series, and the death of that series has finally forced her hand and sent her stateside. Chadwick's future could be in IndyCar rather than Formula 1, but she needs to prove she can compete against other young stars to show the W Series had any value whatsoever. Joining them is New Zealander Hunter McElray. New Zealand has some of the best drivers in the world right now, including an IndyCar. Can Hunter McElray emulate Scott McLaughlin and Scott Dixon? Well, he won a couple of races in Indy Lights for Andretti in 2022 and finished fourth overall. He cannot be ruled out for success. The last Andretti driver is James Rowe Jr. The Irishman has a less impressive CV than his teammates, but has won races in America. He only finished 12th overall in Indy Lights last year, so we'll need to step up his game. Cape Motorsports Enam Ahmed was once a rising star in the single-seater circles. The 2017 British Formula 3 champion even took wins in European Formula 3 and Japanese Formula 3 on his way to third in the championship. Then in 2020, it just kind of stopped. A bad few races in Formula 3 with Carlin, and he has been underwhelming in Pro 2000 in America. He's only 23, so he can turn it around, but he's going in the wrong direction right now. His teammate is the grandson of an Indy 500 winner. Jagger Jones has a very American name, and has a few races in NASCAR behind him. He did okay in his debut single-seater season last year in US F2000, but he is very inexperienced. Consider him a project for the future. HMD Motorsports. HMD are running a whole host of drivers in this championship, starting with nine split into three teams. The first team we are looking at has Josh Pearson, who won't be at the first round. He has experience in the World Endurance Championship with United Autosport, including a top 10 finish at Le Mans and is only 17 years old. Kiffin Simpson is his senior teammate at 18 years old. The Barbadian is also an endurance driver. The 2021 Formula Regional Americas champion has already taken a win in the Asian Le Mans series in 2023, and is pretty good. HMD Motorsport with Dale Coyne. Six drivers here. God, let's get started. Dale Coyne are definitely hedging their bets. Josh Green has one race on the American Junior circuit, but has not really done anything special. Christian Rasmussen was a good up-and-comer in Denmark before moving to America, winning the US F2000 National Championship and Indy Pro 2000 Championship. He took wins in Indy Lights and must be one of the favourites here. Christian Bogle's best finish in an American single-seater championship is 10th in Formula 4 back in 2019. Swede Rasmus Lind has not had a stable drive for a few years. He raced in the American Junior Formulas back in 2018 and 19 before switching to sports cars and then doing half a season of Indy Lights in 2021. This is his return to American single-seaters. He hasn't won a race outright since 2019. Nolan Siegel won a couple of Indy Pro 2000 races in 2022 and isn't terrible. Finally, Daniel Frost of Singapore. He has been racing since he was 14, but hasn't won many races. This is his third attempt at this level, and he did take a win in 2022. I don't see him being any more than a midfield runner. 
HMD Motorsports with Force Indy. Our final HMD Motorsports team has but a single driver, Ernie Francis Jr. Only has a couple of years experience of single-seater racing, finishing third overall in Formula Regional Americas in 2021 and running in Indy Lights last year. Not great on paper, but he has NASCAR experience too and is a seven-time Trans Am champion. So he knows how to win stuff, but can he win this? No, probably not. Junko's Hollinger Racing. And the final team in Indy NXT is Junko's Hollinger. Reese Gold was a runner-up in the Indy Pro 2000 Championship last year and could be good here, but the best signing is Matteo Nanini, who has resurfaced in America after a year off. Nanini briefly made it to Formula 2, maybe a bit too early in his career, but is also a race winner in Formula 3. He is one of the big names on the grid, and maybe pursuing a career in America was a better option than Europe. Only time will tell. So they are the teams and the drivers for 2023 in the NXT series. If I had to pick a champion, I would go for Christian Rasmussen. The Dane is an experienced American racer these days, and can find even more success here. Before embarking on a career in IndyCar, Lewis Foster will be up there, I'm sure, and maybe Jacob Abel. For Jamie Chadwick and Matteo Nanini, they have to do something here for their careers to progress. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Remember to subscribe. I'll be doing the same for IndyCar later today or maybe tomorrow. Thank you for watching and have a good one.